Wow, hopefully this isn't a prelude of how today's going to go. Someone had a bad day in the streets of Sofia. Liulin, Liulin. What stop Liulin? Down right. Okay. Uh, buy ticket here. Okay. Three twenty. Three, two, two people. Two. Three twenty. Okay. Messi. Is this like all day or just one way? One. One way. One okay. Way. Thank you. First time taking the metro in Sofia. All right. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I just illegally went on, even though I had a ticket. Crikey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, would you look at Sofia's metro system? Big and spacious, yeah. modernized, much different than other countries in Eastern Europe. I guess compared to like places like Moldova, Romania, for, for example. Wow. You now Zach lives in Vegas, and what were you saying about this transport? <laughs> it's a lot better than the one in Las Vegas. Yeah, who wants to live in Las Vegas <laughs> when you got this beautiful metro here in Sofia? What a futuristic security measure we have here. Wow, it totally raises up, much safer than even Spain. All right. All right. Don't get me a gypsy. Why, why? I like that. I want to ride a horse. <laughs> really dangerous in, uh, in Bulgaria. Oh, really? Drugs, they have, uh, you know, some of them they have knives. Yes, yeah, you can steal their money. No, it's not funny, definitely. I mean, it's sometimes very scary. They come from in groups, sometimes they come in groups of 30, like if they're real dangerous. Wow. Leland's greatest young uh, young guy giving me advice on what not to do when you visit the outskirts of Sofia. Uh, also, Fakuteta is a good, good bit place. Fakuteta. Uh, I don't recommend you to go there. I mean, you can go with uh, with the bus from here. From okay. But it's, it's dangerous as well. Even more dangerous. Oh boy. All right. It's What's the, your name? Uh, Constantine. Constantine. Oh. Yeah. Emperor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. So here we are in Liolen. Wow. Totally in the outskirts now. Um, and we're gonna be seeing a lot of contrast from the center. And the architecture, we even got some beautiful strawberries here. Dobre, dobre otro. Um, so let's go explore Liolen. Now Liolen is known to be, I guess what you would call a lower class neighborhood, but so far we've only found high class people. Check it out here in the outskirts of Sofia. We have properties going for 44,000 euros, uh, 79,000 euros, 88. Hello. Hello. Sorry, uh, looking at prices. Okay. Nice, cheap here to live, huh? Very cheap. Yes. Uh, and Liolin is good, good place to live. Yes. It's, Many uh, foreigners yeah. come. Yes, there, there are. Okay. Um, there are many magazine, uh, stores. Many stores. Many stores. Metro, metro station. Sure. And this way, just houses, just apartments. Yes, just apartments. Okay. All around. All right, but very cheap. Very cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. Okay. It's cheap. All right. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. Wow. They even speak good English here in the outskirts in Liolin. Good old Liolin. Let's go find some more Liolinenses. So, one of the reasons we're here is because I've seen online that there are like uh, younger guys that drive around literally with a horse and a buggy, a horse and a carriage, going through the neighborhoods picking up scrap metal to sell it, of course. And Basically, it's not, I guess it's illegal, but nothing really happens. And so our mission is to try to ride one of these things and make some friends with some locals in some babushkas as well. Dobro otro. Ah, dobre den. Ah, eh, kaksi, kaksi, dobar? Kaksi, dobre. Dobre. Um, dobar, dobre. Okay. Dobre otro. Aha. Um, America, angliski. Uh, España, vivo España. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, chao. Chao.
Okay. Или вие се снимате? Мик видео. Видео. Ев Лиолен. Лиолен. Такова те, Лиолен, да. Окей. Бай, бай. Бай, бай. Okay, so these are the local living quarters. The cats are living here. You have some nice um, green areas to walk your dog and play outside. It's quite fascinating. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's quite a contrast between here and the center. That's because we have a lot of, I guess what you would call commie blocks, where everything aesthetically is like the same. And while, Bear, and while Bulgaria wasn't part of the Soviet Union, they had very, very close ties. Um, the Russians helped liberate Bulgaria from the Ottomans in the 20th century and so there is close ties and as we travel through the country we will see some of those ties. Would you look at that? Even the kids of good old Leolin want Cuba to be free. Wow. The socialist past has damaged many people that even the kids are now becoming activists in search of a better Cuba way over in the Americas in the Caribbean a much different reality than what we have here in Eastern Europe do you know horse 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 station yeah horse people some people exactly driving here in the course ah but I know where is you have to look we look okay all right it is maybe in this way. No, no. This way or this way. Ah. Sofia, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Leolin, beautiful. Sofia. Sofia, beautiful. And Leolin, da da. Huh? Kras. Um. Krasif. 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 Ah. All right. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ivan. Ivan. Izvinete. Okay. What? Good to meet you. Ivan, a friendly Leolin say. Taxi. Okay. Blog je larvi. Prsi. Blogaria vi. Blogaria vi. Oh. 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 Greatest store in Leolin. Best store in Leolin. Bye bye. Do you hear? She says, oh. Come on. Looks like an American village. Well, we ran into a problem. It's starting to rain. And if it rains, that means less people will be on the streets. So we made a pit stop and we're going to try some local Bulgarian brewskis, so who knows? Maybe. How do you say cheers. Eh, Nazdrove. Nazdrove. Maybe we'll name this video "Drinking Bulgarian Beer in the Hood." Ah, not bad. It tastes kind of like Miller Lite. Miller Lite from Wisconsin. Find the farm, right? Wow, check it out. Someone's still living, maybe in a house here between all these um, blocks. Interesting. Do you know um, where we can find horse, the, the gypsy with horse here? Like horses? I don't know, maybe. But you, you see them here in yeah, yeah. Leolin? They oh. are sometimes, but... They're hard to know. find? <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> and in, that in the rain? rain. Wow, you have two phones. Mm. You are a drug dealer? Yeah, I'm working, no. <laughs> <laughs> Leo Lin's greatest no. drug dealer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mm. Um, no, uh, what is there to see in Leo Lin? In Leo Lin? Uh, is interesting to see? Or... No. Here? No. Okay. No. We are looking for horses. <laughs> Gypsy with horse. Yeah, but... Not today. I'm not sure they're going to ride them in this rain. <laughs> okay, okay. But here, no. Nothing interesting here. Ah. Maybe at the center. Okay. You're the only interesting thing we've seen today. Okay, Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.
We found a place for some shelter. <laughs> it's been raining. Our mission has been aborted. So the search for the horses for at least at least for now has stopped. Hopefully we can find something later on. But we have our shelter here. Whoa. Dobre then. Uh, eat. Okay. Hello. Wow. Finally, guys, we found the place we were looking for. Nice. Very authentic. Chicken barbecue. Barbecue? Chicken. Okay, one, one, one rakia, one rakia. And beer. And beer. Strong man. Strong man. <laughs> you guys, what would you order here? Can you read it? Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Squiggle, squiggle. Rakia is dangerous? Yes. Why? Strong. I don't know. She doesn't know why it's dangerous. She just, the look on her face tells it all. So, you know, when it comes to Spain, people think of wine and beer and bullfighting. When it comes to Germany, you think of Oktoberfest and beer. But what do you think about when you come to, to Bulgaria? Maybe some rough mafia men, some alcoholic, some tatted up guys missing some teeth. After doing further research, I heard about this stuff called rakia. And certainly it smells the part. It's brandy um, fermented with usually like apricots or peaches, other fruits, and it's quite popular throughout the Balkans. So let's give it a go. It's like 80 proof. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, it's not bad. It's actually really sweet. It's good. It's very good. good. We just might have to buy a bottle later on and bring it to a village and drink with some locals. Yeah. What, what What is this? Stew with meatball. Ah, I ordered this? Traditional Bulgarian. I ordered it? No. Oh, oh. invite. Yes. Oh, thank you so okay. much. Are you owner? Are you manager of restaurant? No, I have service. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Wow, she's such a nice lady. She, um, on the house, I, I think. I mean, I would be willing to pay. This is, the, this is what I was looking for. So, yeah, let's give it a go. It's like some meatballs. You guys, the Bulgarian, the Bulgarian food is um, highly underrated. We also have the shopka salad here, like a Greek salad, but tomatoes, the feta cheese, lettuce, olives, peppers. Wow, what an adventure it's turned into today. This is the last place I expected to be. Uh, we came here looking for horses and gypsies and we found delicious Bulgarian food <laughs> and rakia and beer. Let's uh, give it a go. Mmm, wow. Meatballs. Mmm, incredible. And we have pet po, pet po beer. It is 4.5%, um, so the beer here isn't that strong. Nice and light. And the rakia. What do you have to say about the rakia, man? It's strong. It's strong, but it's, it's not... strong brandy. It's fruity, though. It's fruity, so like, it doesn't... It's not, it's not super bitter. It's not bitter. It doesn't make you cringe or it cough. It still makes me cringe. <laughs> He's a cringer. It's because it's strong. He's a stage 5 cringer. <laughs> the flavor is good, though. What's your name? Angie? Annie. Annie. So my buddy Zach here, he's from northern Wisconsin as well. We actually went to college together. And he's, um, he grew up in the straight countryside, so he decided to order cow's tongue, something that probably, Zach, you grew up with, right? No. <laughs> no, he says. Why do you like cow's tongue, then? This is I, Bulgarian I'm gonna, I'm cow's tongue. I'm going to try it out, you know? I've, I've had it before. It's pretty good. All right, give it a go, bro. Give your honest reaction. Try to exaggerate a little bit. Mmm. That's good. Did you make it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. This is my dish that I ordered. I just said barbecue chicken, but as you saw the menu, not in English, so we're gonna give the chicken a go. Barbecue grilled chicken. Whoa. 
Mm. It's a typical Bulgarian. Bul Serbian. Serbian? No, Bulgarian. Ah, we want Bulgarian music. Okay. Do you like roses? Yes. <laughs> Why? Because roses are the um, most famous flower in Bulgaria. Yes. Whoa! Check it out, you guys. Can you dance like this? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, Can you teach me? Koro. Okay. When? Hey, hey. 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 Auntie. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Wow, you guys, the Bulgarian ladies have put on a show for us tonight. This is how we roll in the outskirts of Sofia. <laughs> I love it, I love it so much. Who wants to come to Sofia, Bulgaria, try some rakia and eat at the greatest restaurant in Liulin, Bulgaria? Sofia, Bulgaria, Liulin. It's fine, eh? Krasif. Umoshi se samen. <laughs> I'm married. You're married? Yes. What? With uh, three child. But My big daughter is 22. 22 years old? And study medical university, Sofia. Your daughter's 22. And I have twins. You have twin children? Yes. Dang it, guys. <laughs> I wanted her to marry me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. We like to have fun. <laughs> she has a 22 year old daughter. Wow. Bulgarian woman. I thought she was 22. Dude, I know. No, no. I thought, like, all right, maybe she's 30, so she could have a kid that's like five years old or 10. 22 years old. Jesus. I need to drink more rakia after that because my vision is not working. You guys, we just paid 54 lev for all that. We're going to give her a tip. When last night we paid 69 left, so we essentially paid 27 euros for a lot of food and a lot of alcohol. Great service, great environment. Definitely the highlight of the good old barrio that we're in today. That's your daughter and her boyfriend. Yes. Wow. You look the same age as her. I'm 44. Wow. <laughs> hey, wonderful service. Thank you for uh, Thank everything. You. Here you go. Thank All right, bye-bye. Well, you guys, the mission was not accomplished with the gypsy horses, but we got stranded in the Kami neighborhood with a lot of rain. Fortunately, a taxi's here to save us. So let's see how much it costs to get back to the center. How was your day? I'm so good so far. <laughs> so what do you know about this uh, Liulin? Do you live here? No, I'm not. It's a nice place, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Yeah. It's like a bedroom to Sofia, you know? Ah, uh, it's... it's... The people, most of the people, they work and sleep here. I moved, I moved out of Chicago. I'm in Las Vegas. Really? I live in yes. Las Vegas. You lived yeah, in Las Vegas? Seven years, yeah. Really? Beauty. It's a beautiful... Yeah, the nice. American playground. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of casinos here as well, I noticed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Never play here. <laughs> Never play here. <laughs> uh, I never play you here. lose everything. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking fraud, man. Yeah, it's corruption. It's big. Everything is still money. The current political situation in, in Bulgaria, how do you consider it compared to the past? In the 90s, the 80s? No difference at all. No difference? No difference. No. So, no, communist, no. communist Bulgaria versus... No, no, no. no. Communist is not so bad, actually. The communist yeah. is good. The, the life is very cheap. I heard that. Before 90s. Yeah. Uh, everybody in the middle wage. Okay. Right now it's fucked up. The rich and the poor. <laughs> Ooh. KFC, wow. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes. And Dunkin' Donuts. Capitalism has came to the communist blocks of Liulin. Is it possible, like, can you can you buy a house 
in Bulgaria or is it too expensive? Yes, you can buy a house, but the house is, is very old. When you buy something, you're mm. not uh, going to live. You have to make a renovation. It has to go the same price if you buy the house, you know. Mm. If you pay 100,000 for the house, you're going to pay the same money. And I'm not talking about the house, I'm talking about the apartment. Yeah, a piece but, of a flat. Yeah, small, much yeah. smaller than the US. Yeah, for example, here, the salary in the regular Bulgarian, you know how much is it? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. That's the minimum wage. Six hundred Bulgarian. Three hundred dollars. Six hundred Bulgarian level. Jesus. Bye bye. Nice to meet bye you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, you guys. Wow, we just met a really, really nice guy, taxi driver, um, who had lived in Canada and the U.S. for quite some time. So T told you about the situation in Bulgaria politically compared to the United States. Nazdrave. Nazdrave. Prost. Prost. Oh, wow. A Bulgarian uh, bottle opening machine. Nazdrave, <laughs> <laughs> Nazdrave. All right. Nazdrave. Nazdrave. Nazdrave, Nazdrave. Yeah. Open his bottle. Oh, yeah. please. <laughs> mola, mola, mola. Mola. Nazdrave, Nazdrave. <laughs> Drinking on the streets in Sofia. <laughs> like a shot. Like a shot. Bye bye. Cheers. 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 For Bulgaria. <laughs> ah, for Bulgaria. Bye bye. Well, you guys, I think we're going to end the video here from rainy Sofia. Bye bye. <laughs> Very nice people. The Bulgarian bottle opening machines. We're gonna go to our brothel, Airbnb. <laughs> See you later from Sofia, Bulgaria.